He starts out by saying, Dearest darling, I received your sweet letter today and was more than thrilled to hear from you. I'm doing fine and hope you all are likewise. Kenny Turner from Lansing recently found a letter. Yeah, you can see it. My dad had excellent penmanship. A family heirloom, really. Uh, he was living at the time at 910 William Street in Lansing, and this was April 11th, 1951. Faded and written in a kind of cursive. They don't teach in schools anymore. But I want you now. I didn't want to leave you. Those two nights and days with you taught me more than the whole three years I spent courting you. Had I known married life would be that sweet, you would have been my wife before even that. <laughs> right, and this was not dad. <laughs> yeah, he was not the type, you know, he wasn't mushy, you know. This letter has it all, romance, risk. Its name is the Georgian, catch it. It leaves about 10 minutes after the hummingbird gets there. It will bring you to Chicago. Then you catch the Grand Trunk Western, get a red cap to carry your bags and tell them which train you want to catch. And that train will bring you to Lansing. It's in this letter that Kenny's father, William Turner, gave his wife, Velmarie Turner, the step-by-step -step instructions she needed to leave her small hometown for the first time and meet him north in Lansing, Michigan. I just couldn't believe it. You know, I never knew that letter existed. My mom never said anything about it. And, you know, I really wish I had a chance to have sat down with them to discuss that whole migration. The Great Migration. But he says, I'm making $1.35 an hour. Do you think we can live on that? Kenny's family letter is remarkable for many reasons, but it's historic because it represents a trip, a risk, many black families took in the mid-1900s. She had nothing. She, you know, not even a phone on the train or anything. You know, she just had to trust the process, you know. And uh, that's a lot of trust. That was something that happened all over the United States in the big cities, Chicago, Detroit, Philadelphia, New York. It was part of the Great Migration, which occurred from about 1913 to about 1970. And that was the influx of Southern African Americans coming to the North for good jobs and, and actually to escape Jim Crow. I mean, we got so many families here. We got the Culpepper family, they grew up with them, the Fumbies, Byers, Moonies, Wills, Davis. I mean, all of those families moved up here. Well, the, the Great Migration in Lansing primarily doubled and tripled the population in the 50s and 60s here in Lansing. It went from about 6,000, say at the beginning of the 50s, to 20,000. The carefully penned instructions on this love letter are a testament to the journey and fight of thousands. I'm very proud of them, very proud. As Kenny Turner walks on the same Michigan Avenue train tracks Belle Marie Turner arrived on 70 years ago. Yes. It gets to me sometimes, you know, just thinking about it. Mom, I can feel your presence. I can feel it. Look at this.